The Mechem Canine Business Unit specializes in the following services. Sale of trained dogs. A limited number of trained dogs are available for sale. Trained dogs include explosives detection dogs, narcotics detection dogs, demining dogs and patrol dogs. Dog breeds include German Shepherds, Malinois, Border Collie, Labrador and Springer Spaniel. Working Dog Handlers Training Mechem specializes in the training of explosives detection, narcotics detection, demining and patrol dog handlers. We also offer working dog instructor training. The duration of these courses are 12 weeks. Contraband Detection Services Our company offers the following specialized contraband detection services. Searching of cargo for explosives and narcotics or any other contraband specified by the client. Searching and securing sports stadia. Searching vehicles and containers at all ports of entry. These services are carried out by using trained dogs and handlers to physically search small parcels or using meds for larger parcels, trucks, other vehicles and shipping containers. Working Dog Breeding Mechem has a well-established working dog breeding and socializing program. Training, supply and maintenance of demining and other dogs for Mechem International Operations. The canine unit is responsible for the training, deployment and maintenance of demining and other working dogs for Mechem external contracts. This unit also has to ensure that dog handlers are trained and retrained. Services include the supply of dogs, meds equipment, training and contraband detection services. Detection dogs. Specialized dogs and handlers trained to detect the presence of explosives, firearms, narcotics or other contraband. These dog teams can be deployed at airports, shipping ports, border posts, courier services and cargo company warehouses. Mine detection dogs. Mechem has a long history using dogs in the conventional sense. On most of its contracts, dogs play a very important role in the detection of landmines and other explosive devices. The company has a pool of trained dogs and experienced dog handlers and any shortfall in capacity can be overcome within a short period of time by training both dogs as well as additional handlers. Experienced instructors conduct the training and they make use of the excellent facilities available to them at the Mechem head office in Pretoria. Mechem Explosives and Drug Detection System MEDS for many years, no scientific method of determining the presence of explosive vapour and other vapour or odours, for that matter, existed. There was general acceptance that trained dogs were the only way to detect the presence of such vapours or odours. This method, however, has many limitations as fatigue, injury, disease and distraction invariably limits the productivity and accuracy of dogs in this role. In order to overcome these constraints, Mechem developed the Mechem Explosives and Drug Detection System, or MEDS. This system is based on the principle of rather taking the odour to the dog, working in a controlled environment, than taking the dog to the odour. How it works? Air samples are collected using specially designed filters and MEDS sampling equipment in areas suspected of containing target contraband substances. The filters are then presented to specially trained dogs for analysis. When the presence of a contraband odour is indicated, only that specific area where the sample was collected is then searched. The search to locate the actual source of the odour can be carried out manually or by using free-running detection dogs. The major advantage of the system lies in the fact that only those areas where the presence of odour is identified now have to be searched. This results in a substantial saving in time, effort and cost. To date, the system has been used to detect the presence of drugs, weapons and ammunition, explosives, landmines and protected animal products 
such as ivory, rhino horn and abalone. It can, however, be adapted to find virtually any substance with an identifiable odor by training a dog dedicated for this purpose. The advantages of meds. The system has value-added benefits in that dogs are specially trained and therefore have a much lower detection threshold than normal sniffer dogs. The system can be easily adapted to detect many different substances or odors. It provides a quicker yes or no detection of the presence of a target substance. It allows concentration of resources to search in areas found to be positive and prevents the wasting of time, energy and money in areas where vapor or odor is absent. Multiple dogs are used for confirmation and detection rate is increased. It offers time and area effectiveness with a resultant cost benefit. The ability to reanalyze samples at a later date. Dogs are imprinted, trained and maintained on a chemically pure target substance. It combines a scientific approach with leading technology to collect and detect the target odor. Mechem utilizes a mine-protected Casper or Tapir as a mobile meds sampling platform. This includes a vacuum pump driven directly from the engine, a vacuum tank, two ducts leading to the back of the vehicle and all the necessary plumbing, valves, meds sample holders, etc. When in use, the med sample tubes are lowered through the ducts, one on each side of the vehicle, and air is drawn through them for a measured distance. The vehicle then stops and the tubes are changed and labelled. The position is recorded using a DGPS or Differential Global Positioning System reading so that after the specially trained meds dogs have checked the tubes, any positive sector can be accurately revisited for mechanised or manual detection and clearing. Dog breeding. The aim of the Mechem dog breeding program is to provide a sufficient number of working dogs which can be relied upon by dog handlers in the fight against crime. Success of any dog breeding program depends upon cost effectiveness. Mechem personnel are responsible for the care and welfare of all the dogs and the socialization of puppies in order to produce a well balanced and well adjusted animal. Puppies are thus raised in a manner which will prepare them physically, mentally and emotionally for specialized detection work. This is achieved by exposing them to as much of the environment they are likely to encounter during adulthood. Selection of breeding stock. Both the stud dog and brood bitch should be as good an example of their breed as possible. But most importantly, they must have a proven track record of producing working dogs. The Brood Bitch A kennel is only as good as its bitches and therefore a brood bitch should be of good conformation with as few faults as possible. The better the bitch, the higher the expectation of well-constructed puppies. Before a bitch is even considered for the breeding of working dogs, it should comply with the following standards. It should have the appropriate physical conformation, for example, be free of hip dysplasia only A-plus gradings are allowed, show no sign of cow hocks, floppy ears or missing teeth. These are all hereditary defects which can be minimized by selecting the right bitch. Possess the necessary temperament to be trained as a working dog. The behavior of the brood bitch is of utmost importance for the breeding of successful working dogs as behavior acquisition regarding a learned ability takes place between mother and pups. Shyness, nervousness or a bad temper should never be allowed in a brood bitch. The stud dog. Only trained dogs should be used as stud dogs. Each dog has to comply with the same physical conformation as set for the brood bitch. It is not advisable to keep dogs and bitches unless facilities are available for complete isolation of bitches in season. Puppy socializing. In order for puppies to grow to their full potential as working dogs, they must be exposed to a wide variety of different environments. Our puppies are taken to schools to interact with children, they are taken to shopping centers to get used to slippery floors, traffic and crowds of people. They are also exposed to their future working environment at a very early age. 